Okay, so here actually, let me turn this light off. Maybe that'll make it a little bit easier to see. You can see there's little spots of raised material in or lowered material in the corners where when you're doing the press fit of the blade into the slot the sides of the knife or the sides of that uh, tang move that brass over because brass is so soft and easy to work then you can also see a line maybe that works a little bit better you can see a line right here at the tip of my fingernail that's where the front edge of the guard joint on the knife went down in and marked the brass. So you can use those to tell you where to take the last little bits of metal off. I'd say this guard is probably about 90% uh, finished. So now we want to go real nice and slow, real controlled. Um, now is the time to take our time. back to the square needle file and we're just going to lightly take off the bits of brass that were raised up when we did our, our press fit. And they'll just be in the corners keeping our file in line with the rest of the slot and when in doubt just take a little bit and then press it on again okay so we got that done and now right quick we're gonna go shine up the face of the guard so that we can double check our fit. I got my sanding stick here. Use this same stick for hand sanding blades. I like to work standing up and with this stick being mounted to the bench and I mean it's it's pretty sturdy. So I can bring a lot of weight down. And my sanding sticks are just uh, paint sticks from Home Depot. This is just some 600 grit wet or dry paper. You can get it at Home Depot also. And we're just taking off the scratch marks and the uh, there's a hump here, here and here where the brass moved out of the way when you were when I was fitting doing the press fit. And I want to get rid of that and make it nice and flat and shiny. Okay, so now we can do another trial fit. Here I'm supporting the bar stock with my forearm so that it goes on mostly straight. Center that blade up in the opening. And drive it on.
Now we've got a nice tight fit. It's pretty straight to the uh, to the guard material. The only thing we have is a little bit of a gap. And I'm sorry the lighting's bad. You you can't see it, but I can see it. There's a little bit of a gap right back here. So we'll drive it off again, touch that up area up, and it should be ready to go. That gap is probably around three thousandths of an inch wide. And you can see that that really is a good press fit. You've got to work, work pretty good to get that, that guard to come off of there. Which is what I'm after. I want a nice tight mechanical fit in between the guard material and the tang. I just want to rely on JB Weld or, uh, or solder just as a moisture seal. So now we're just going to file this shoulder down a little bit. And there's probably going to be a spot yeah, right here on the edge it's contacting. So we'll take that off. back and see if there's any more of that. Yeah, there is a hair of raised brass up in these corners. So we'll just lightly take those out of there. And now we're ready for one of the very last fit uh, drive fits. And there we have it. Oh, sorry about that. Got a near, near perfect guard fit. Near perfect guard fit. And the timer says 30, 32 minutes, which um, all the stopping and starting and, and showing you on the camera, I would say that's just about right. We're nice and straight. The first video I made, like I said, I had the camera sitting right over here and it shifted my body and so I, uh, I ended up cutting the guard slot crooked and then ended up fighting with it and... Uh, it didn't turn out so well so so I decided to redo it and show you just how easy it is to uh, to fit a guard up um, now what well, now what you do is uh, my hunting knife is uh, about perfect in the length of the guard for my hand both with gloves and without so what I'll do is I'll take my pencil 
and I'll hold it about the same distance on there and that gives me a mark as to how much brass I'm going to need. So now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and take the blade out, come back over and cut this off, and then I'll shape the profile of the guard, rough rough shaping it, just get just hog most of the material off so that when I'm uh, so that after the the glue up with the JB weld I'm not putting any more heat into this than I absolutely need to because um, I don't want to damage that that seal then also your handle will be installed also so you're you're trying not to damage by heat either the JB weld or the uh, G flex epoxy that holds the the handle on so I'll cut this off grind this profile clean it up clean up the face of the the guard to a nice 600 grit finish and then install some J or uh, install it with JB weld that JB weld has got a nice gap the JB weld will fill this gap up in here providing a really uh, enough space for the JB weld to to act like it should also the brass that's left inside this gap right here it was just filed with a coarse file when I cut that angle in so there's plenty of, of good coarse scratches in there for the JB weld to adhere to that before I glue this up I'll come up and roughen up the area of the blade underneath where the guard sits with uh, oh probably some 200 grit paper or so to put some scratches on there so the JB weld will adhere to the um, the blade and to the inside of the guard material. But that's about it. Um, that's it for today.